Merry Christmas and welcome to our new home. Thank you for those of you that wished us well with the move. We absolutely love it here. 2021 was a good year for, to be a Level 42 fan. Um, Mike Lindup re-released Changes on uh, orange vinyl. And if you've not seen my interview uh, that I did with him, um, where pretty much we, we discussed it, the reasons or the inspirations behind every um, track on the album, um, did you know that Judgment Day is actually about Margaret Thatcher, for argument's sake? Now, apart from Mike releasing that, uh, Phil Gould released Beautiful Wounds as well. And I have to say a big shout out to Paul Waller, because um, I know he was heavily involved in producing the artwork, etc., for the album cover. Uh, and also on the Russian Submariner, uh, we got to hear Boone uh, one more time. Uh, so I must admit, for me, that was the standout track on the album. Now, as you know, I went to both uh, Cliffs Pavilions and Royal Albert Hall. Um, now, the Cliffs Pavilion for probably four or five, uh, the last four or five tours, which is covering nearly 10 years, um, become quite a tradition to get there early, meet up with a whole load of uh, fans, uh, Andy and Sue Jackson, uh, Jackie Lawrence, Ray and Pursue, just, uh, Colin Sladden, just to mention a few. Um, now, I always try and get up the front, as you've seen from the filming. Um, that particular gig, though, I have to say, in my opinion, there were some um, sound issues, actually. Um, I don't know if you'd caught it, but for some reason there seemed to be a microphone right above Pete's uh, cowbell. Um, so you'd keep sort of hearing the cowbell in the middle of all the songs. And one particular song, it just seemed to go on and on and on. And I turned and looked at Colin and I thought, hmm. <laughs> Um, however, the, I have to say, at both gigs, uh, hats off to um, Johnny Hates Jazz, um, because it was weird, because at uh, Cliff's Pavilion, uh, three songs in, I uh, stood and uh, spoke to Pam, who was standing next to me, and said, um, I must admit, I've never been to a gig where I don't know the words to a song. However, uh, next song on, I think it's Clinton, is the lead singer, did one of them sort of like, you know, the microphone, you guys go this, you, we'll sing this. Uh, and suddenly it sort of, you know, the crowd got involved and to be fair, everybody I was standing next to at the end when they finished said, yeah, that was pretty good. And at the Royal Albert Hall, I do feel that the whole audience was just up for a great gig anyway. And again, uh, Johnny H. Jads did a really, really great job of sort of doing their, the warm up. Um, as far as the Royal Albert Hall was concerned, I thought that was one of the best gigs I've probably been to in about 10 years. I don't know if it was the release, also the fact that 5,000 people could gather in one place for the first time in sort of ten, uh, two years, um, but the audience was up for it and I believe the audience generated uh, that, their enthusiasm to the band because they were absolutely awesome. Um, Luckily for me, although I, I did actually meet Nathan and have a quick chat with him, he was the only band member I met. However, my good friend Mike Lindup sorted out a number of items for me that I got signed. Um, this one I have put on eBay already. You will find it on eBay UK uh, under Level 42 signed flyer. Uh, it is available during this week, so what are we today? So it is the 18th through to, I think, uh, Christmas Day actually, uh, or Boxing Day. Um, I've put it up for £10. Um, obviously you guys fight over what you pay for it, um, and I'll send it out to you as soon as I can. Um, my thanks to Matthew Aitken, um, who, when I met him at the Never 42 gig, gave me a number of um, uh, LPs and 12 inches, and Mike got this signed. I haven't put this on eBay. Um, oh, sorry, with regard to this one, uh, for the first, normally, as you know, I normally collect all the money and then go up to St Francis Hospice or Mind or whatever and, and present the money and, and obviously get a letter showing you I, I raised the funds. This one I've just done 100% to Cancer UK. Um, this one, if anybody wants to make a bid via the comment buttons, I'll see how, fair, how that fares. Because obviously every time I do these, I do lose money or we lose money to uh, both eBay and um, PayPal. 
Um, so I said that's available as well. Uh, just to end this one, um, just want to give a shout out to a number of people who I've had most correspondence sort of during the year. If I've met anybody, sorry about that. Um, but uh, Ronald in Germany, CC in Paul in America, Wayne in South Africa, Kuz in Holland, Stefano and Giovanni in Italy, and then more uh, to at home, Graham HB, Natalie, Angela, Rotti, Mario Ray, Norm, Pete, Brian, John, Dave, Matthew, uh, Johnny, Sean, Mandy, Andrew, and the Francis and the whole Levy family. Guys, have a great uh, Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye bye everybody, bye bye.